207, just over here somewhere. So the question is, what, what, what are you doing here in South Africa? Just like preparation really for St George and to have a, have a good hit out. Like I, I prefer to race like the Ironmans over 70.3, so like, it's my better distance. And like last year I raced um, Switzerland and in five weeks we're at later race Chattanooga and I've had really good success after racing like um, a second Ironman. I didn't want to go into St George with it being my first race because I know like from past experience I'm not going to be in top form if that's my first race of the year. So yeah, just uh, have fun, get a good race in, nice place, get some sun. So uh, ticks a load of boxes. <laughs> first, first year pro last year now. Yeah, it was the first uh, first year last year, so uh, it was a bit of a rough start. So really looking forward to it. Really a good, great prep prep of winter with uh, Joe went to uh, Malaga, month to Girona, uh, some awesome winter training in the Netherlands. It's going to be rainy, windy here in uh, South Africa, so they're adapting a little bit to the mozzarella. So I can't wait. Yeah. So where's the mozzarella name from? Well, I was once overweight, and um, so it was 94 kilos. I was, I'm pretty whitish. I was always a bit sweaty, just like a mozzarella. So that's where it comes from. My mates always used to call me like that, and I still don't like the sun. So. <laughs> uh, well, the, the biggest thing I've learned is mentality-wise, just like getting it done every day. But on top of that, having fun while doing it. Tom likes his rest. I'll definitely give him that. <laughs> he definitely, he definitely likes to rest and not to overdo things. Don't you, Tom? <laughs> Recovery is key, mate. Recovery is key. I'm the king of taper. He loves a good taper. <laughs> no, I haven't really uh, changed anything, really. You want a new bike? New bike, yeah, but yeah, I mean, I've got new kit and stuff like that. That's what's changed. Like, uh, positions more aero, like from what I've done in the winter and, uh, and uh, the velodrome. So, definitely a more aerodynamic setup. But um, training, like, similar. I mean, obviously, I feel like I'm in better shape, but I haven't changed anything dramatically. You know what I mean? Like, with my training, it's just another year of training, another year of more consistency. So, I feel like I'm in better shape, but first race, isn't it? You know, like, it doesn't matter what you're doing training, does it? It's all about what you're doing race day, isn't it? You know, you could. You can be hitting PB times in training, but if you can't perform race day, it doesn't, doesn't mean anything, does it? Hey! <laughs> Welcome to my crib. Oh, yeah. you see, you got like, like the, uh, the family suite. Yeah. The mess is caused by Henry. Yeah. We've only been here for five minutes, but um, I think Henry's discovered just about everything in here. There's loads of mums now racing. It's, it is harder than I thought. It's just um, the thing I found the most challenging is um, nursery germs. That, funnily enough, I never would have thought that would be the hardest thing. But for him, he comes back with everything now. As an athlete, to have a child going to nursery and bringing stuff back, that's the hardest thing. To be healthy when you're training really hard and you're depleting your body like every day and then you're really susceptible to stuff. This race is quite like sentimental to me in a way because yeah I would like to win this race. Um, I did my first ever triathlon here. Um, my husband and coach is South African. Um, it's um, We've got lots of family in South Africa. We used to, I used to spend sort of most of the winter out in South Africa training. Um, it almost feels like a bit of a home race for me. It's a race that I feel I get lifted from when I'm racing, um, which is why I come back, because I feel like it's a race that I can get an extra gear from because of the support. Yeah, I don't know how it feels if everybody would know my name, but uh, I like to be a bit of an underdog and uh, so not too much ex expectations and uh, yeah. My dad did a full distance when I was 10. So that's uh, 22 years ago. And I uh, already said when I, when I grow up, I want to do a uh, triathlon as well. And when I was 16, my parents uh, let me join the triathlon club, did, the, did my first uh, triathlons, uh, obviously in the junior category. And then I got picked up by the national team and did the uh, WTS races. I had some uh, mental, mental health issues, so in 2014 I quit. I said elite level triathlon is not for me. 
and I started uh, my, uh, to finish my studies in um, Maastricht. And the following year after I retired, Ironman announced Ironman Maastricht. So it was literally 200 meter, oh, the transition zone was 200 meter away from my um, student apartment. So I said, well, I didn't end my career in a nice way. So I want to do that race and then it's really done. <laughs> And we're now um, seven years later and I'm still doing triathlons. <laughs> and then last year, uh, yeah, I had some really good results and I hope uh, this year I can build on that. Yeah. For this race here in South Africa, I tried to combine everything that I've learned in the last, what is it now, 16, 17 years. <laughs> And uh, I think the course is uh, really, really tough. We have, of course, two of the, the mom comebacks, <laughs> which is really exciting and uh, really inspirational to have them on the start list uh, to see how they um, come back after having a baby. And uh, for most of us, the first race of the season. So I think uh, anything can happen. And that's what I'm preparing myself for, that there could be surprises, there could be uh, people who might uh, not live up to their name, so yeah, we'll just see what happens.